Hi, it's Professor Adam. Let's talk about finding the ground atomic state for an ion for which all of the atomic states have been determined. Previously, we determined the atomic states for D2 vanadium, 3 plus, from its 45 microstates. These states were singlet G, triplet F, singlet D, triplet P, and singlet S. But before we talk about vanadium 3 plus, let's now consider the general procedure for the determination of the atomic ground state for a free ion. First, the atomic states need to be determined from the free ion microstates. Then, from these atomic states, the ground state will be found among those with the highest multiplicities, as this will reduce the Coulombic repulsion energy and increase the exchange energy terms. Check out the video linked for more on these energy terms. So in the case of triplet F versus singlet D, triplet F would be considered the ground state. But what if there are two atomic states with the same multiplicity? In this case, the one with the higher L value becomes the ground state, as this is the state with the larger number of microstates, thus having the larger entropy. So in this case of triplet F versus triplet P, triplet F would be considered the ground state, since F has an L value of 3 and P has an L value of 1. What happens to these remaining states then? They will form any excited states in the ion, and in the examples above, the excited states would have been triplet P and singlet D. To find the ground state of D2 vanadium 3 plus, we need to apply our rules. First, we eliminate all but the highest multiplicities, leaving us with triplet F and triplet P. Then we determine which atomic state has the higher L value. Since F has an L value of 3 and P has an L value of 1, F will be our ground state. The others will be the vanadium 3 plus free ion excited states. Let's check comprehension.